Good morning everybody, day 17 and thankfully we're back on the trail, so just had a couple of days in Idlewild, just letting the, the sort of storm pass a bit really and letting the snow melt on the tops, um, if you've watched other YouTube videos you'll see that a lot of people have actually ended up having to skip the San Jacinto Mountains or go around them, find alternative routes, um, after a long, long discussion between the four of us and looking at all the eventualities, we decided we're going to go over and give it a go. Um, could be dangerous up there, could be quite bad, but we, we, we had the mindset that we'd rather go up and see for ourselves rather than just do what everyone else is doing really and just word of mouth. Um, so we're sort of heading up now, so if you can see the views are just spectacular as usual. Lovely way to start back on, but that... Oh, I love being back out on the trail already. Joe loves being back out on the trail already. But if you see that white one in the, in the distance just before I get into the trees, that's where we're heading up. So there's obviously still snow up there, which is expected. Um, what we have said is 48 miles distance-ish. Um, instead of doing it the usual way, where we do it over four days, we've kind of said, we're going to give ourselves six days to do it, so we've got plenty of time, we can take our time. If it's deadly dangerous or whatever, we can just take it nice and steady. Make sure we're thinking about every footstep in a sense. Um, so we've given ourselves six days to do that. We've also brought with us seven days worth of food. Again, just on the off chance there's any other problems. We really need to be down ideally by the weekend, there's another storm due. So we need to try and get back off the mountain, ideally by Saturday or Sunday. Um, we need to really hope that the storm gets delayed and doesn't come over till Monday because we should be down. But at worst case, we might have to come down on Saturday if the storm gets bad. Um, we've also put in place that the four of us are going to stay really close together the whole time within, we've sort of joked, pole distance. So we can see each other and we're fully next to each other in case someone slips slides, anything like that. Um, and we've got the paper maps out and we've we've looked for five sort of bailout points all across the route. So at any point we don't feel safe anymore. We're always within half a day of a safe escape down really. Um, and I think most of them come back down to sort of like the idle wild area anyway. So yeah, we're going to give it a go and I can't guarantee we're going to get all the way across but we just really want to be doing mile for mile uh, because we're from the UK and Canada as well in our group, we've got the six month visa, we can't really afford to skip something and get to the end and then try and come back to, to get the missing miles, so these sort of decisions haven't been taken lightly and we've done a lot of planning but we've decided that we're gonna we're gonna give it a go and at worst case there's no shame in coming back down and then joining everybody else 30 40 50 mile down the trail i think so yeah wish us luck if we can get a couple of videos uploaded like i said the other day on the shorts i will just to give some people behind us an idea of what they're dealing with um but obviously that's all signal dependent um, you'll notice I've put a little quick video up of Idle Wild. It's just really to fill in the blanks of the two days that we weren't on trail. Gives you a bit of an idea of what Idle Wild looks like. Bit of fun meeting Mare Max. Eating, sleeping, resting, massages. It's a tough life being on the PCT. Hello everybody, welcome back. Good afternoon. It's about 1pm. Uh, we're about mile 157-ish. So, we forgot to say yesterday, we um, we passed the 150 mile while we were coming into Wild the Wild. So, that's another little milestone ticked off. Um, aiming to get to the foot of San Jacinto 
this morning, uh, tonight, so we can go straight up in the morning. Only another three or four miles left to go, but it's a bit dodgy underfoot at the moment. So it's just taking our time, really. Probably be in camp for in about two hours. Nice early finish for the day. But we're starting to get some elevation now. So as you can see, everybody's coming up behind. I think I might get a nice shot in a second when I get up here. Just to give you an idea of the landscape we're in. Sorry, I'm a bit out of puff again. It's just beautiful. Seeing quite a few coyote poos about, so it might be quite a loud, noisy night, noisy neighbours. So we'll just see how we get on. But yeah, probably jump back on just before we camp for the night. See you soon. Hello everyone, just about half a mile away from our campsite for the night, so that was a good time to check in, um, about mile 159, Intrepid Explorers behind, but it's just beautiful again, so nice getting back up on the top, it's hard work getting there but once you're there it's lovely, some sort of strange gate coming up. Men built from steel, women just as strong I see I at Wilton had rights and a dome in long The legacy that we have left is there to see from east to west Built on the banks of the tea Town we know today Smoke and fire in shipyards And the steelworks paved the way The sky was grey, the air was thick With chemicals that stick In the throat and the nose Built on the banks of the tea this infant Hercules Born from grime, born from grime The world won't forget infant Hercules The warm orange glow from our industry at night In our sights From Eston Hills I'm looking down I look with fondness on my town Where I was born I was raised A small town With bigger hearts and voices To be heard Or to protect and serve We were made from industry They'll not forget our history Where I was born I was raised Built on the banks of the tears This infant
stop changing our name Smoggy till the day I die Love that haze across the sky Where I was born, I was raised Hiker food Infinitely must go marching once again The wind came from nowhere, okay. so we decided to pack the tent up and call it a night. The clouds down to the... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. So this is what happens when you go up a mountain when there's a storm, Jim. You get very windy very quickly. Good morning everybody, day 19 and you might notice that we're not on the trail and perfect timing, the trail provides, thank you. We came off the trail last night just because it got incredibly windy and the weather was turning today anyway because the storm drew in. So we decided to come off trail this morning. We were going to come off tonight anyway, but we came off this morning. So we managed to get about 20 mile across the range and decided to come back down. And so we're back in Idlewild. So we're going to have a couple of days in Idlewild again and then hit the trail again. But we haven't fully decided what we're going to do yet. But while we're deciding, we decided to do the best thing ever. Best part of the trail. I got a case of the restless legs, yeah, and tireless wandering. 